Billed as the greenest ever Olympic Games, Paris 2024 is going au naturel. There will be no air conditioning in athletes' rooms. Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo says instead the athletes' village is designed with a natural cooling system drawing water from underground. And the facades of the buildings are designed to avoid direct sunlight. Still, with 2023 being the hottest year on record globally, some Olympic committees say natural cooling is not enough. Enough. The Norwegian committee said our clear wish is that there should be air conditioning in all rooms. Australian officials are looking at portable air conditioners to offer athletes and so is Canada. It's a massive logistical piece, but yes, we're looking at portable air conditioners to offer um, the athletes should they choose to, if it gets hot, if it's comfortable. But Hidalgo maintains natural cooling is enough and necessary to fight climate change. This is what the mayor had to say. We must trust scientists when they help us to construct buildings in a sober way that allows us to do without air conditioning. The German Olympic Committee supports Hidalgo, saying they have visited the village, which will house some 6,000 athletes athletes and believe the cooling system will be sufficient. Once the games are over, the city of Paris plans to turn the athletes village into permanent homes for locals. The Paris mayor made other Olympic headlines this week when she declared she didn't want Russian athletes to show up. She told Reuters, I would prefer them not to come, citing the war in Ukraine, saying Vladimir Putin is denying them the right to exist as people and as a nation. The International Olympic Committee has ruled Russian and Belarus athletes can compete as neutral athletes. However, the IOC has yet to announce if Russian athletes can participate in the opening ceremony under a neutral flag. Recently, the International Paralympic Committee said Russian and Belarusian Paralympic athletes will not take part in their opening ceremony.